Ms. Uh, Rich, when you were speaking with Ms. Hurd, how close were you standing to her? Two feet. A foot and a half, two feet away. Did you notice any marks on her face when you were speaking with her? No. Did you see any bruises? No. Did you see any redness? No. Did you notice any swelling? No. Did it look like Ms. Hurd was wearing any makeup? No. And you had seen her not wearing makeup before? Yeah, like I said, with the face mask, no makeup, waking up in the morning with makeup. It's three and a half years of seeing her in different uh, different forms. Did you speak with Mr. Drew about anything at that point? Yeah, after I said, hey, what's going on? He gave me the high sign to like, hey, follow him. We went into my apartment and had a conversation. And what happened um, after you had that conversation? We left the apartment towards uh, Penthouse One, and as I'm walking back, I say to Amber, as I'm I'm walking up, he hit you? And she goes, yeah, he threw a phone at me and hit me. And I'm looking, because I had just seen her two feet away, and I'm going, where? She puts her face out like that for me to look at her, the right side of her face. But at that point, also, I'm looking, and I turn, I turn around, get on the other side, and she's got her face out like this, looking, you know, to show me. I'm looking at her forehead. I'm looking at the side of her eye. I'm looking at her cheek. I'm looking at the, her chin. I'm looking at the other side of her face. I'm looking at the whole thing, and I don't see anything, anything to... I don't see a, a cut, a bruise, swelling, redness. It's just Amber's face. I said, I gotta go. And I gave her a hug and kissed her on that side of the face. And then I left, said goodbye. What was her reaction when you kissed her on that side of the face? Nothing. Did she flinch? No. Did you see Ms. Hurd again the next day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When was that? So that's Monday. That was May 22nd, my birthday. Then, then the next day, I had woken up the uh, chest cold. I heard a knock on the door, and it's Amber. And uh, I went downstairs, and I opened up the door. And when you opened the door, did you have a good view of Ms. Hurd? Absolutely, yeah. Did you see any marks on Ms. Hurd's face at that time? No, same thing like the day before. There's no redness, there's no swelling, there's no bruises, there's no cuts, there's no nothing. Just Amber, looking like Amber. Did you notice if she was wearing any makeup at that point? She didn't look like she was wearing makeup then either. What did Ms. Hurd say to you during that in encounter? She was knocking on my door to see if I would take uh, the house key, her house key, to let the cleaning lady in, because she had to go somewhere. And I said, hey, listen, I'm, I'm feeling sick. I'm going to be upstairs laying down this entire time. And then she stood there and is like, well, I've got to figure out what to do. Did you see Ms. Hurd again the next day? Yes, I did. Where did you see her? I'm leaving my apartment to go downstairs to the cafe to go get something hot to drink. As I'm locking my door, a group of women show up. Did you recognize who the women were? Amber, her sister Whitney, Melanie Iglesias, who's a makeup artist for Johnny and, and Amber. Did you interact with the women at all? After closing the door, Whitney, who calls me her spirit animal, came running down the hallway going, Isaac, spirit animal, and I'm I'm going, hey, listen, I'm not feeling so hot, I'm not feeling so good, and I get duck under her arms, you know, stop. And I, I love you, but stop. I come walking back in, and now all her, her and her, the women that she was with are coming back out. Did you get a good look at her face during oh, that second encounter? absolutely. The sun's shining right on her face. Did you notice anything unusual about her face? Nothing. No cuts, no bruises, no swelling, no redness. It's amber. And then did you see Ms. Hurd again the day after that? Yes, I did. And that's Wednesday, May 25th? That's right. Where did you see her? I, I would go to the store. I got to shop for something to, because uh, otherwise I'm not going to get rid of this chest cold. And on the way back, in between the garage and the building, there's this room with like vestibule you have to walk through. And I'm coming in to go into the building. Amber and Whitney, her sister, are coming out of the building to go into the garage. And we met there. How long did you speak with them, if at all? We're facing each other. Amber and Whitney are across from me. We're two and a half feet, two feet away from each other, talking. I have bags of food in my hand, of, of stuff that I went and I bought. Finally bought myself some stuff to get rid of this chest cold. They're going to the CVS. And she says, you sure we, we can't get you anything? Do 
said, how about we get your smash book? And they said, you sure? And I said, yeah, yeah, of course, I got it. Don't, don't sweat it. Did you have a good look at her face during that conversation? Yes.